Welcome to Soul Fuel. This is John, and today we're outside Pensacola Harley Davidson looking at the 2023 Harley Davidson Pan America. You can see it has all LED lighting with adaptive lighting. These are the 8020 street tires. We're going to take a look around here and look at the brakes. These are four piston radio Brembo front caliper front brakes with a Brembo master cylinder. These brakes have a good progressive feel, but not real snappy, uh, just good stopping power. Here's the star of the show, the 1252 60 degree V10 a liquid cooled VVT engine. A very different style engine for Harley Davidson. Uh, different sound, very powerful, 150 horsepower, 8750 RPM, and 94 foot-pounds of torque. This is an engine that needs to be revved out, but has some really good output. Output, rather. We're looking at the suspension here, the adaptive ride height with semi-active suspension. Here, if you look at the top of the muffler, you can see when I turn the bike on how it lowers considerably there. So this is an excellent, excellent option that comes on the special. Can you rev it? Can you rev it? We're looking at the rear light. Uh, it's small, but it's super bright. All LEDs in the back. We've got a seat height that's adjustable low and high. And here's the fuel tank at 5.6 gallons at 46 miles per gallon. Here's a look at uh, the controls on the left side. We've got the heated grips, the right and left turn signals on one button, and the infotainment controls along with the horn. Up on top, we've got cruise control, heated grips, and the light switch for highs and lows. Over on the right-hand side, we've got traction control setting. Uh, we've got like a Siri setting, audio controls, and then up on top, we have the hazards, the start, stop, and the mode button. Here's a very sharp looking infotainment system. Here I'm showing the uh, how to adjust the windshield. You pull on that little uh, lever and then it props up and down. I left it in the second highest position when I went on the ride here in just a moment. So very easy to use. Here another look at this other side of the engine. Just a really, here's a foot pegs, the rubbers can come out on that to adjust. Uh, really, really sharp, sharp looking bike. Let's go for a ride, guys. All right, here we go on the Pan American 2023 Special Harley Davidson. It's got the blinker over where most people are used to it, except Harley riders, right? All on the side here, left and right. All right, getting a good bit of wind noise. The seat's super comfortable. I like the rider triangle. I'm reaching out, very comfortable. The way my legs are bent, very comfortable. If you're used to an adventure bike, uh, this is a uh, very similar to a BMW setup, a Tiger Triumph a 1200 setup, Suzuki, all those. You'd be very familiar. It's a very smooth running uh, bike. 1250 cc, 1252 I believe. 150 stated horsepower. It's a beautiful day here in Pensacola, Florida. It's about 60 degrees, a lot of sunshine. We're about to get on the expressway here and get her up to about 65 or so.
Oh yeah, she takes off just fine. Very nice. Holds the road well. It's a commanding seating position. Very easy to see uh, behind me. Mirrors work well. Super steady. Uh, the seat's really nice. Very comfortable. Uh, not too firm. Not too soft. Uh, good width to it. Getting a little bit of wind on my knees, but uh, not very much for how uh, wide open this bike is. see ahead of me there uh, the other Pan American Special in the rear light. It's small but it's quite bright. The gentleman ahead of me is about uh, my size and he fits on it just fine. See the blinker super bright ahead of us. You can see it on my screen here. got a slight lean forward which I like it's a little more engaging for me but I don't have any weight on my wrist the clutch lever and the front brake lever are both adjustable you got an adjustable windscreen uh, the deflectors for the hands here for the wind uh, work good. It's got a 42 degree lean angle. We're not even getting near that, but uh, on both sides. It's a beautiful day to be on a motorcycle. Bike's got a pretty good sound to it. Not a typical Harley, but it's it's throaty. There you go, the brake light again looks sharp. Now when I uh, come to a stop here, you can see just for a moment the adjustment on the uh, suspension, it actually lowers it. And then when you take off, it edges it back up. I think somewhere between 0.8 and 1 inch. That's an extremely nice feature. Especially if you're a little bit shorter. I'm 6'1 with a 32 inch inseam, uh, but it's helpful for me. And I'm sure if you had a shorter inseam, uh, it would be uh, confidence inspiring for sure when you come to a stop. The shifter peg is quite small, but it's right where you'd want it. So I don't feel I have to twist my ankle in at all to get it. It's just right there. It's very nice. Again, the uh, readout is super legible. Just a quick glance down and you can see what's going on. We're in road mode right now. I'm gonna hit the mode button here. This, now we're into sport. You can feel the throttle response, definitely sharper. Maybe we can see the hill hook. We're gonna turn right, okay. So the bike has a uh, hill hold assist on it too, or hill hold, hold control, I think Harley calls it. So if you're on an incline on a hill, uh, incline or decline for that matter, uh, it'll hold the bike for you. Takes the pressure off of uh, dealing with that, especially if you had a passenger on the back. You can uh, really feel the... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, he, he had a little problem when he stopped. <laughs> kind of wobbled back and forth. Just getting used to the bike. You can really feel the shifts. They're very, uh, they're not harsh by any means, but you, you know, they're, uh, you can feel them uh, good. There's no doubting you're shifting the bike and you're catching the gear. I like that. Again, for somebody my size, I'd probably have to go with a, a taller windshield. 
uh, but every uh, bike I've ridden in this class, which I'm most familiar with, uh, the GS, GS Adventure, the Triumph, uh, bikes like that, I always have to put a bigger windshield on them anyway. But I do like the screen a lot. It's uh, got a, gives me everything I need. Got my RPMs, my speed, my gas, time, and you, it's very customizable. Let's see how we do over this uh, railroad here. We've got it set in road mode for suspension. Oh yeah, no problem. But that, that wasn't much of a challenge, but very nice. Lots of switches here, but uh, you can see you can go through the different modes once you hook up your phone. Here's where we see our PSI or temperature. Here's customizations. Here's back to home. This would have us hook up our phone, obviously. And then back. So super easy to get in between things. I could feel the suspension lower me as I got on the stopped here. It's really nice. The crash bars are nice and tight to the bike, but are protective. They don't stick way out. Got the spotlights up front that are inside the crash bars. I like that. You don't see them from the side. Yeah, I really like the width of these uh, handlebars. The uh, grips are heated. There's uh, ports under the seat for heated gear. The seats, uh, as far as I know, are not heated. Obviously, we got cruise control. It's a premium motorcycle. Yeah, the bike just throws into a curve like you'd expect. Super nice. I think we're around 560 some pounds. Uh, if you're coming from a Harley Cruiser, this bike's gonna feel like a flyweight. Uh, but it's a tall bike for sure. So, but just super easy to ride, to control. Again, I like the uh, rider triangle in the hip position especially. It, it really is relaxing on your hips. I know a lot of guys like their uh, feet more forward if they're a cruise, uh, cruiser type rider, but for adventure bikes uh, with the feet back like this more, this is a much better control, much better for lean angle. These bikes are mostly used, to, quite frankly, for sport tours. With the kind of power they have, they're great on the highway. You can get the bags and load them up, go on a trip. Uh, and when the road ends, uh, the adventure can continue off to the dirt. Where you can't do that on most bikes for sure. So it has a lot to offer, and Harley's doing a great job of marketing and uh, selling this bike. It's the number one selling adventure bike in uh, North America. So what an amazing story after just a couple, three years of being on the market with the bike. Well, that's about a wrap on this test ride. What an impressive motorcycle.